we are here today at Adams County Rescue Mission and the parking lot is absolutely packed. I literally had to park at the very end of the parking lot. Usually I can get a parking spot like right close to the door. So I'm not sure if they're having a sale today or if everyone decided to come today because they were closed earlier in the week because of the snowstorm. So I'm not sure what's going on, but it's going to be very crowded in there. I'm not sure how long I'm going to last. I'm not a fan of crowds, but I'm going to try to make it work. So <laughs> let's head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Here we go. The first thing I usually look at is the purses here, and as you can see, this one caught my eye probably because it is blingy. I loved that strawberry hanging off of it. It was KJL, and that's not something I recognize. Granted, I don't know a whole lot about purses. I'm still learning purses, but I decided to skip that. Kind of just looking for anything fun or funky or anything that seems to be good quality. Nothing there really caught my eye this time around. I have found some cool vintage purses here in the past. Now through these plastic flaps, there are a few more purses and wallets. There's a Vera Bradley there on top. And I liked the geometric pattern of that white wallet. This appeared to be leather, so I did open this to see if there was a marking on the inside, but it was kind of worn. Now you can see the shelves have been picked clean, and I'm not sure if that was because they possibly had a sale, but I did find this bird here for $5. It is not vintage. I don't believe it's vintage, but it did have a bird on it and two candlestick holders there, and I thought this was a great piece for spring, and so for $5, I did decide to take this with me. It was very heavy and good quality. There was an owl back here, and it did have a sticker on the bottom. It reminded me of an owl I saw recently at the antique mall, so I did turn that over and look at the bottom. I believe it was Taiwan. Down here, this cabbage leaf plate. My mom collects this sort of stuff, and so I do grab this for her whenever I find it. You can see here there are some shelf sitters, and I have been on a roll with these recently. As you saw in a recent Goodwill video, the flower ones can be worth quite a bit of money, while the vegetable ones are as well. So I did look those over, but there was a lot of damage on those, and so I left those right on the shelf. I liked the glaze on this leaf dish, but there was a lot of chipping on the edges, and so unfortunately I had to leave this behind. This right here I've looked at before, and I was wondering if maybe the price had come down a little bit, but it was still at $8, and there wasn't enough room there for me, so I had to leave it. This kind of had an art nouveau look to it but as you can see there is a modern sticker on the bottom this art pottery face was very interesting in shape and I was having a hard time trying to figure out whether this was something you could pick up at Big Lots or if this was something unique. And so inevitably I did end up leaving that one behind because I just could not make a decision on it. And there was a chip. The little hedgehog was really cute. And there was an owl here. It was a New Orleans owl. I have bought and sold those in the past, but uh, today I decided to pass. I liked the baseball there. I thought that was pretty neat. Now 
I do kind of like the looks of that amber compote right there, but I did not give it a second look while I was there at this shop. I'm just now seeing it as I am editing. And there are times when I do miss stuff and I look back at the footage while I'm editing and think, you know what? I kind of wish I would have taken a closer look at that. But, oh well. Now, I realized I had not looked at this little island over here, and I spotted this. It was $4. It looks to be a floral frog of some sort, and there also appears to be some age to it. Now, it kind of reminded me of Roseville, but it was not marked at all, so I'm not sure who makes this piece. I also found this and it was actually quite heavy which was surprising i did not recognize the marking on the bottom but it seemed to be a pretty good quality porcelain and i liked the simple floral on it i thought this is also good for spring you can tell that spring is kind of on my mind my cart is looking very spring-like today Now this right here, I think is some sort of cypress, something or other. I've seen these before. I, I've never actually bought and sold them in the past, but it was just a few dollars and I decided today is the day I'm going to attempt this. I'm going to buy this for resale. And so I did. This was an art pottery candlestick. I kind of liked the design of it, but I wasn't sure of the resale value. The box, I think, was Andrea by Sadik, if I recall. I was really grasping. A lot. <laughs> but I did find the praying hands, so I got at least one point. There were lots of owls on the shelves today, as you can see. This sticker matched a previous sticker that we had looked at, and I was just not feeling the owl figurines today for some reason, so I left those behind. This reminded me of Williamsburg Reproduction Pottery, but it was not marked on the bottom. Now, I did look through the kitchenware, I guess you could call it. There were some salt and pepper shakers there. That poor lone cactus is still sitting there on the shelf. This was an art glass pitcher, but it didn't scream quality to me. It was nice looking, but it just, for its weight and how big it is, it was just not worth it for me for resale. There was some vintage glass there on the shelf, but it doesn't have a very high resale value. I decided to check out the basement today because I have not been down here in about two years. And I was told that there were lamps down here. And sure enough, there were lamps. Lots of lamps. Unfortunately, none of these lamps really spoke to me, I guess you could say. Uh, they were all probably just... Well, they weren't spectacular lamps, and that's what I need to see. I need to see spectacular lamps. Okay, well, our total spend there today was $13 and something change. Um, I suspect that the reason the parking lot is so full is because it might be a discount day because I'm pretty sure it added up to more than $13, so it must be some sort of discount day. But I feel like we got some good stuff. I mean, we didn't get anything amazing, but we got a few good things. So I'm excited for that bird candlestick holder. Um, if I don't decide to hoard it, I will be listing it. <laughs> and uh, that uh, dish for my mom because she collects those things. So I'm pleased with everything we got today, even though it was just a short little trip. Uh, I am going to head down the road and I will continue this adventure because, I mean, why not? We have more time, so, so let's continue down the road and uh, see what we find next. Here we go. All right, well, we have traveled down the road a ways. I did stop at the Heart Thrift Store, unfortunately. They are closed until February 9th, which is like the middle of next week because of the weather. And now I have stopped at Finders Keepers. 
Um, so I'm here at Finders Keepers Cross Keys. There are multiple locations, but I am in Cross Keys. And we are about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. So, here we go. So the first thing I found was this very unamused kitty cat. I kind of love it. Look at that expression. And it's all hand painted. Adorable, unamused cat. First thing in the basket. Let's go. Looks like this is a royal couple. I think that we've looked at that before. I do kind of like that carved birdie back there. This couch is awesome. Kind of wonder if that would fit in the back of our shop. I'm gonna have to look at the price on that. So I am purchasing this set here for the shop, for the back room, for the kids, and we are actually gonna resell the couch and chase that we currently have there. Um, there is a little bit of an ink stain on this footrest, but I, I, I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's super comfortable, it's super soft. I think the kids are gonna love it. I'm just trying to, I'm hoping that um, it'll fit. I guess time will tell. I will have to get it over there and see. <laughs> this barrister style bookcase is really nice as well. Kind of like that. Let's look at the price on that. It's more modern barrister style, but I do like it. One twenty nine ninety five. Mm. Oh, look, is that a bird? Oh, it is a bird. Let's look at the bird. What is this bird? Art glass bird. It's got a cloudy bottom, so it probably is not Murano. But I love it. I love the colors. You can see all those bubbles on the inside of the glass, so that's another indicator. But stylistically, it's really fun. And it's only $12. I think for $12. I'm in it for $12. Look at that huge duck planter. Oh my goodness gracious. That's the largest duck planter I have ever seen. A huge duck planter, 58. That is insane. I wouldn't be, I, I, would, I don't think I would be able to ship that because the shipping cost would probably deter buyers. Um, and since we do auctions, it's really not an option for us. And uh, I don't really want to put it in my booth. This right here looks to be a Lone Star quilt. And I kind of like the fabric on it. It's $50. So. I do love the Lone Star pattern. Looks like there's a little bit of staining there. I think the Lone Star is probably one of my favorite quilt patterns. I might grab that for 50. Let's do it. I mean, the stitching isn't perfect, but it's it appears to be hand stitched. Ooh la la, will you look at that vase? happened to be walking by and glimpsed that beautiful Mary Gregory design. That is stunning. It looks like they've got $14.95 on that. That is beautiful. You can kind of see how the enamel is raised. But it's got a bird on it. <laughs> all right. I, I think I need to take that with me. Flowers and all. There doesn't appear to be any damage on it. Stunning cranberry. There is a scratch. I don't think that that is a chip. I just think it's some scratching. 
<laughs> there we go. I've got a lot of quilts in here. Fortunately, this one has some damage on it. That's always such a shame. I love the colors of it. I love that bright yellow. It's so cheerful. Let's see what the price is on this one. This one is $29.95. I feel like this could be repurposed. But I think I'm going to leave that one behind because of the damage. I kind of like that artwork down there. I don't think it's an original. I am going to take a peek at it. Is that an original? Wait a second. Country picture. I don't think it is. No, that is definitely. No, that's. I was like, that can't be an original. No way, but I absolutely love that scene. I love the fall colors, the antique sign. This lady's buying a table. Covered bridge in the background. I mean, I'm kind of digging it, and I think because I'm. I mean, it's $6. I might buy it for $6 just because I like it. All right, so I'm going to check out Liz's booth back here in the corner. She's always got nice things. A lot of glass. Looks like she's got a nice piece of Murano down here. She's got $39.95 on that. There's not enough room for me to buy this for resale, but that's actually a really good price on that. It's a beautiful bowl. I'm just going to pick it up and check out the bottom. Yeah, the bottom has a lot of scratching, so it's hard to see, but the bottom was likely polished. Really nice bowl. A few art glass birdies there. Wow, this duck is amazing. I wonder if it's signed. It's only marked Tonala. It does not appear to be signed any other way. $35, absolutely beautiful. Love it. I feel like $35 is a good price for it, but again, I don't feel like there's enough room for me. Well, I've spotted this vase here for $7.95. And I kind of like the shape of it. I feel like that's interesting, but I turned it over and the bottom is polished. That's usually a sign of decent glass. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly who makes this, but I think for $7.95, I'll I will take it. Now, the reason I was passing by that is I was actually coming over to this cabinet here to check out this little hobnail Fenton blue trumpet vase here for $9.95. This cute little thing for $9.95. So I guess today is the day of furniture because I think I'm gonna buy this as well. It is $80, but I absolutely love it. I mean, yes, it's worn, it's primitive looking, and I think that's what attracts me to it. You can tell it's got history. In fact, someone even carved their name into the top of it. It kind of reminds me of the table that I used to use for my haul videos. Look, peace sign. I really like it. I'm not sure yet what purpose it will serve, whether it will be real resold or I won't find it. Wait. it. It's a little bit. There we go. I mean, it's just you gotta have some finesse there. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's look at this. Ooh. Looks like there is a little bit of a, a boo boo back there. How bad is it? Mm. I don't know. I guess if it's just a work table, it's not the end of the world. I like it. I think I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it. I can find a purpose for this. 
Well, our total spend there was $789. That's a lot of money. Um, but we bought something very, very big. We bought a couch, we bought a table, and we got some little odds and ends. So I'm really thrilled with that couch. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very excited. He did tell me that it is brand new and it came from Big Lots, which I'm not mad about. Like, I am I feel like it's a nice, like, super comfy, super soft. I can't say that enough. I actually sat on it. I touched it. I'm very thrilled with it. I'm just like, my only concern is that it'll fit in the place where I need to put it. I should have measured first, yes, but I did not. If it does not fit, I will find a place to put it. I will maneuver until it fits. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I'm going to get out of here now. I've got to go get the kids from school. And I will see all of you tomorrow. So long.